Right, this is uh, a finished uh, new lobster pot that we've been uh, making and there are several processes uh, uh, to be done. First of all, we get the local uh, timber merchant. Uh, he fells trees in the wood, uh, locally at, uh, around Dunbar, and then he cross-cuts them and cuts them into uh, different segments to make up the frame. And this is uh, traditionally hardwood. Um, so that it can stand a little bit of punishment with uh, rough seas. And in the old days we used to uh, go up the country with our bicycles and um, cut what they called ash sukers, the small ash, that they were pliable and bendable but were also durable. But nowadays we have the typical um, water piping that can be bought from any um, builder's uh, merchant and uh, we, we uh, shape these to, to, to form a, a, a round um, frame and then the other ones are straightened out. Now this is a traditional Scottish parlour. The reason that they call them a parlour, I should have had this done round, um, is because it is the traditional Scottish pot with the two entrance eyes, uh, not like the Cornish pot, which they call the inkwell pot, which is like a beehive with the entrance at the top. This is down at the bottom, and the bait is put in here, the bait band, to attract the crabs and lobsters. And once they go in, they automatically look for a, a, an, an, an exit because they know, they realize that they are trapped. So the theory is that they look around, and this is, they can climb upside down and to the side, and some of them do, unfortunately, get out, but the natural, uh, progression is to go into here and hence once they're in here it's that's why they call it a parlour because it's so tight in here it's enough to accommodate them but there's very little room for manoeuvre so once they're in here they're essentially caught until the, the trap is emptied uh, they're good pots for long-term fishing you know if you have a uh, turbulent weather and you can't get out uh, to uh, unload the, the pots these ones are ideal because what they have, they hold. As advances go on, we've got release mechanisms and the, open, the first ones were laced along with a, um, a piece of uh, twine and tied in a bow. But often you found that it was defeating the purpose because the knot had come undone with the turbulence of the water and um, the, the contents had di disappeared. So now we have these hooks. Well, that's the basic uh, essential of our a Scottish pot.